Okay, so the products that we are going to use today is from LA Girl. And if you guys haven't heard of LA Girl, it's a very cheap drugstore um, makeup brand. And they are very famous for their HD concealers. So um, today I have two shades. I have it in the color Natural, which is our highlighting shade. And I have it in the color Beautiful Bronze, which is the contouring shade. So um, this is what they look like. Okay, so I'm going to start with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Natural. So you want to apply this under the eye in a triangular shape. And you kind of just squeeze the product out. It has a applicator tip, so you don't need any extra brushes. Anything like that. So I don't have um, any foundation on, um, but I did apply a little bit of moisturizer. Oh, I did my eye makeup. So we're going to put this on the forehead and the chin, and then down the nose. And then I want to apply a little bit under the contour area, so I'm kind of just going to lighten up the area over here, and this will just make can't just stand out even more. <laughs> okay, so I have a huge pimple on my lips, so I'm just going to conceal that. And then I have some discoloration on my mouth. I'm just kind of... So if you have any pimples or discoloration, you can kind of just cover it up with the concealer and we will blend that to use later. Okay, so next we're going in with the LA Girl Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze. It looks like this. And we will apply that. Um, and we will apply that in the contour area. So this is a very dark... So this is not for contouring, it's just a dark concealer and I think it's perfect for contouring. Um, so this is a very muddy brown colour, it doesn't have any orange tint to it. So it's perfect for contouring to give it the perfect shade when you need it most. Okay, so kind of just dabbing it on my hand. I don't want to apply too much product because you can always add on um, but it's more difficult to take away. So starting at the cheekbones like So you kind of want to feel where your cheekbone is. Don't try and create um, a contour that is not there. So if you don't have very high and defined cheekbones or whatever. That is what that is what contouring is, kind of um, bringing out the features that you already have. So my cheekbone is over here. So I'm just right under that cheekbone. And then on the forehead, I'm kind of following the hairline. And then bringing it in to the tip. what shape of nose you have. If you have a really long nose you can kind of cut off the tip. If you have a really small nose you can kind of create a thin line to make it look longer and yeah, just try and figure out what your nose shape is. It took me a long time to kind of figure out the way to contour my nose and I 
I think so it'll be for everybody so what I do I have a really small nose so what I do is I kind of just follow the line like that and then I kind of gently drag it back into the shadow where my eyebrow kind of leads to and then I have a little um, <laughs> like a ball nose if you can describe it like that and um, so I'm kind of going to cut off the ball shape <laughs> by just dragging a line like that creating a shadow Okay, so I'm going to create a little shadow here to kind of make the tip longer. So if you have a really long nose, you can kind of cut your nose off over here. It makes it look a little bit shorter and the contouring on the sides will make it look a little bit thinner. Okay, so to blend this all together, I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and this is just a normal beauty blender and I just run it under cold water. You don't need any fancy product or anything to wet it with. You just use normal tap water and it'll triple in size. It'll go really big and really squishy. The reason why I wet my beauty blender is to give it a really um, like a flawless airbrush finish. And also if your beauty blender is wet, it won't soak up all of your product which you just add to your face so it kind of defeats the purpose of adding something to your face you're just going to blend it with the product that is going to soak it all up so because it was already soaked and um, it won't soak up any excess product so, so we're going to start by blending in the lighter shades first and then going in with the darker shades blend the darker shades we're going to use the same beauty blender and you kind of want to use a rubbing motion uh, the reason why I like cream contouring is it lasts so much longer you will not rub it off or sweat it off or whatever <laughs> I really like cream contouring, um, it's going to be really hot and you're going somewhere where you need to look flawless the whole day. I suggest cream contouring. <laughs> and then kind of just take the product that is already on the sponge and kind of just For the nose, um, I want to use my finger, kind of just And then going in with a bigger blending brush from <laughs> Real Techniques, um, I'm just going to take my under eye. Okay then, for some highlighting, um, I bought this the other day and I am in love. This is so beautiful. It's from um, MAC and it's soft and gentle mineralized skin finish and it looks like this. So I'm adding a little bit on my cheekbones and on the bridge of my nose. Both. 
Okay, so this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thumbs up if you like this video and if you enjoy cream contouring. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!